only Sky News Live. Welcome back to Summer Money. There's no denying that health and fitness is a major industry in Australia. In fact, according to findings from Suncorp Bank, Australians spend $8.5 billion on fitness every year. And that's a trend that's likely to continue at full speed. When Jake Farahar noticed Australia's growing health obsession five years ago, he realised that while there were many options in terms of training and gyms, which he does also have a background in, there was a gap in the market for easily accessible nutritious food. Enter Nutrition Station a small business that now has 26 stores across Australia. And Jake joins me in, Australia, in the studio to talk about the insights. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? I'm great. It's so great to have you here again. We have spoken before, but tell me about Nutrition Station. Uh, it's been a fun five years. Um, we've grown quite rapidly, um, changed a lot over the last five years. But um, the business now is a, a health food cafe concept um, that makes health food accessible to everyone. Um, and easily accessible. So. Wow, and five years, you've had a pretty big five years, up to 26 stores now. Tell me about how that's grown. And I get, like, right from the sort of conception, I'm thinking of business owners out, out there kind of starting a business, thinking to, in five years' time they could potentially be at this point that you're at now. Yeah, um, we started as a, a shake bar business, so we've seen a gap in the market um, after reading an IBIS report. Um, and we, we started doing healthy protein shakes. So our business was just like protein, water, ice, um, and, and shakes alone. We then had a, a franchisee um, that, uh, or, or a partner that decided to do food, and we were against it at the start because we thought the food industry is quite hard, mm. um, and I always, never really wanted to get into it. And then they did it uh, at, a, at a Bankstown store, and it went through the roof. And then we realised that there was this big gap in the market where people actually want truly healthy food that's accessible. So from there we started the cafe concept, and we had a lot of ups and downs with, with that, and trying to learn food along with um, learn the business. And, and today we... I think we've we've grown a lot as a business. Um, we've 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 refined the model a lot over the last uh, last 12 months even, um, and and where we're at now is a, like a fully fledged health food offering. So I think um, from where we were to where we are now, it's been a, an exciting journey, but a lot of ups and downs for sure. Yeah, I mean it, it's ama I mean it's amazing. Health food delivered to your door, as I know, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a customer. I'll give the inside scoop there. It's amazing. It's an amazing business, and the cafes. Tell me about the diversification between those offerings, and yeah. was that deliberate? sort of strategically to go, we are going to offer a whole range so we can make it accessible to everyone? Yeah, um, our business model, we don't traditionally take high rent stores. I think the retail market as a whole um, is, is struggling with those high rents of the big centres at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. And our push was to go geographically and become every community's local health food cafe. Um, rather than have big factories where we have to turn them on and it costs us money, we more have a nimble footprint where we create um, our meals fresh on the day, as you'd know, mm. um, and then we deliver them to the customer's door. So we have modified atmosphere packing machines, but a bench top version. Mm. Um, we get our food in fresh same day, prep it and send it out. Our delivery model, I think, with the landscape of the way that Uber and, and, and those aggregating companies are coming in now, delivery is a lot more accessible for our business. So we can get a package from our store to your house for around the $7 mark, so we don't need a big transport facility. So we've, uh, we have a, bit, a pretty unique model, I think, in, yeah. in that space at the yeah. moment. Yeah. When, you were, when you were preparing this business model, was it just, I'm, I'm thinking of really strategic advice for people out there, was it sort of sitting down with a team and really kind of spitballing ideas to come up with these kinds of different ways of doing things that are obviously, you know, appearing to be pretty fruitful for a new yeah. kitchen station? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, it, it definitely was. We got a lot of smart people in our team. I can't say it was on me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and trying a lot of things. Um, we, our, our business, we encourage people to break the rules. And, and continue to try. We had a, a strategy meeting yesterday where it was, let's continue to, to break the rules. And if we find something that doesn't work, scrap it. And if we find something that does work, go deep on it. Mm. So we have a, a young and nimble team, so we're able to do that. Um, as we get bigger, I think that will get harder, obviously. But um, yeah, a, a lot of planning um, goes into things. And, and, and we do a lot of thinking before we launch things as well. Yeah, so. yeah. So really, really think about yeah. it. I wanted to chat a little bit about health of Australians generally and I really think for the sort of purpose of summer money and, and the audience that we have watching the show, how important is health? I mean, I know it sounds like an obvious question, but yeah. some of your personal experiences, I know you're a sportsman, how important is health to, you know, operating brilliantly as a business person, really staying on top of your life? Yeah. I think it's the, the most important thing. Um, I, I think if uh, health is obviously the most valuable asset anyone can have. Mm. Um, and I think there's a lot of collusion in the media and, and market now as to what is healthy and what isn't healthy. Um, as we get more 
busy as, as human beings. Um, I think having accessible uh, health, healthy options, and there's a lot of good options on the market as well now. Um, but health as a whole, the industry is growing. Um, I think you can see a lot of like non-health food, retail food businesses having healthy options in the menu, which I think is a great thing. Mm. And I think there's a lot of room in the market, and, it, and I hope it continues to grow. Yeah, I was going to ask you if it is such a flooded market, then how do you set yourselves apart? Is it is it the sort of I guess the model that you've got that you have these you know more broadly reached places? I know you're yeah. sort of right up to the central coast, coast of New South Wales and further on the outskirts of yeah. uh, you know capital cities. Is that that's deliberate? Yeah. Our goal is to, to become the local health food cafe in every community. Mm. Um, that's how we compete. We don't go and have marquee sites at the moment in, in, in large shopping centres or um, just for that brand awareness. We more prefer to, to live out what we believe and become the local health food cafe mm. of that community. Um, so our goal is to, to get in and obviously use our online technology to be able to impro improve our sales so we can take lower rent sites so our capex is a lot lower mm. so awesome. yeah and our rent percentage yeah. Well I love that you've brought that up because another thing I actually wanted to go on to next was, was about your sort of digital presence and yep. social strategy. I know you have a fabulous Instagram account and I know that digitally you have done so much in the past few years. How important has that been for you as a business and again for advice for people watching how important is a good social strategy? I think that's everything. Yeah. Uh, I think our, our online strategy as a whole is um, is very well thought through. Um, I've got Josh who's young in our IT department. He's absolutely brilliant. He um, he runs that. And um, and you specifically put someone in the business oh, for to sure. manage we've, this? We've got multiple people in, in that area. Social, online marketing. Um, mm. We have, have a, an IT team um, that look after that. Because I think as t technology grows, uh, as a health food business, if, if we want to just rest on the, the traditional retail laurels and, and have a a presence in retail only, I think we'll, we will definitely lose the race and we'll be out very quick, mm. but we had to change quickly and have, have an online presence. And we've, we've been seeing online for three years now um, and we're seeing it grow rapidly mm. now. Um, yeah, so, well, that's, yeah. I mean, that's an interesting trend for 2018, that online presence. And that has to, I have to say, that has been a theme throughout Summer Money over the past month. On to 2018 trends then, and, well, sorry, more so 2018, what does it look like for Nutrition Station and you? Yeah, we've, we've got a pretty big uh, year ahead. I bet um, you do. <laughs> we've doubled our team, so we, we had four new hires start yesterday, which was fun. Wow. Um, and I'm, I've all confidence, I've never been more confident coming into a year um, with the people we've got on board. Um, we'll continue to grow as well, but for us we've got uh, 12 sites locked away already for, for this year um, and we'll continue to, to, to grow into different key territories. Um, Victoria, we've got a, a very um, good franchisee down there that's very hungry and I think he'll be, he'll be really good, so we're, we're excited for, for the Victorian growth. And, yeah, we are uh, got, got a lot on the, on the cards and a few tricks up our sleeve that we'll... OK, oh, we'll, we'll stay <laughs> tuned, ready to take it on. OK, with that in mind then, Jake, as a businessman, how do you manage and maintain, I guess, this calm person I see in front of me when that's your goal for the year? Because that's a big that's yeah. a big kind of year ahead of you. Yeah, I, I, um, I settle, settle down a lot and I, um, you know, I, I, I train a lot and I read a lot, I uh, continue to read a lot mm. and, um, and just surround myself with really good people. Yeah. Um, I've got a, a lot of people in my life that have helped me um, to, to get myself right and um, I think people have told me in the past it's always about getting yourself right and then your business will flourish. Um, I, I don't like burning the candle at both ends and you know if I, I turn 30 this year so I've, I, I think coming into Ancient. my 30s <laughs> they say it's your best years in business so. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so Listen uh, one more question for you just before we cut to the break for people out there it's 2018 starting a year what's your advice when it comes to looking after yourself um, you know nutrition health fitness and and the importance for that for people going I'm going to start a year and not just a fad yep. you know I'm going to make this a good year. The best answer would be to eat at our cafes every day. Yep. Um, but secondly, just like routine and um, and making it easy for yourself. Um, people overcomplicate it. Um, eating good food is better than eating bad food. So you know, don't stick to a fad diet. Just just get in and and, and just make something that's easy uh, and make the right choices daily. So, fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Okay, well, thank thank you so much for coming on Summer Money. Look forward to seeing your next year. I know it's going to be an absolutely huge one. And and definitely check it out. Some great pieces of business advice there as well. Thanks, Jake. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Coming up, we stay on health with health and lifestyle coach Bryony O'Kane, here to share her business journey, as well as her tips for increasing energy and maintaining balance in your life. Stay with us.